Yeah. And I don't think Connor sold one. 715. What do you got on this? Ten bucks. Does it work? Yes. Oh, it's going away. Ten bombs oh, the ass. Thank you. Okay. I'll do ten. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. That's cool. Nothing for me here. Yeah. Three dollars? This is what I was looking for. Hmm? All right. No, I'm hanging here, helping her. Yeah. You got some great stuff. Oh, thank you. I love it. A variety. Uh, that's what I love, yeah. Is it 20 for all three of them? No. It's uh, 20 for that guy, eat. those are 25 apiece. This is piece. what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yep. If you want all three, I can make a better deal. Thank you. Uh, how, how good of a deal? What do you got on your cards? Cards? It's an incomplete set. Star Wars, Vintage, I think. Third, yeah, the third set, maybe? Jabba's Palace, it looks like? It's the second. Second set? I believe so. I was doing a little bit of research on it. I mean, are there any foils in here, or do you think it's all kind of junk? I have all the cards, man. What do you want for it? Sound. Sounds a little high. A little high? I was thinking like 10, especially okay. if it's just bulk. Yeah. Could you do 15? What are you doing? I don't know. Find a rare card, I could. Alright. <laughs> do you play or you collect? I collect. Alright. Kind of just unloaded half of my collection, and now if I can get more, I kind of do. You just kind of picked them up. No, I, I picked them up. I'm Magic the Gathering, Pokemon. You got all that any stuff. Magic stuff? <laughs> Not my Magic stuff, man. No. I, I got like one or two decks. I just keep them all. Up. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say you don't have any of the old stuff. No, I wouldn't have any of that. Yeah, okay. Just... How about Pokemon? Pokemon. Any of the originals? Yeah, I left my tent at home though. <laughs> it's more on me. All right, I'll think about this and come back. Thanks. Yeah, all right. Appreciate you. Yeah, you too. How you doing? He says, you're my age. You wonder when your interest rates are 8, 9, 10%. He says, I don't mind 5 He says, it's a good deal. It's a wrong attitude. But like two years ago, it was 2%. You know, so. I was like, he's coming. I'll be crazy. Right, there you go. Yeah. There's no way they're in there. Back. Blowing holes in this side now. <laughs> I'm back. I already got to buy more from you. So what are you trying to do? You're just trying to set up stuff at your shop, take videos well, of, or 
I I closed my shop. Oh, you did? Okay. That area. This is the home run for you. If you want to do videos and stuff. I'm selling all these Pokemon cards. Five bucks. Hell. I mean, I'll give you five bucks for the birds right there. I'll give you five bucks for that one. Here's the meeting. The boxes were supposed to be $59. All right. Thank great, you. Great to talk Go to you. Go buy him out. I did. I bought all his VHSs. Is that? They're all gone. I bought them all from you. Did I ask you guys before Power Rangers in the box, the vintage stuff? Maybe not here, but do you have any of it? I, uh, I'm walking around. I forgot there was this whole other side here. I forgot this whole other side. Oh, that's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Are you? Yeah, you don't have the boxes, do you? No, I don't have the boxes, but all the pieces are there. I think I'm missing one sled. I'm missing one sled. One sled to pull They're up. not necessarily oh. for the for the transformation. Is this, but... is this the original one or the newer one they did? No, that's the original. I know they did re-release it, it but no, looks it's like the original. You, anyway, 91. Okay. It's original. It um you know what it is? I think the guy I bought it from must not have had the stickers on it. He put different decals. I was gonna on say it. they look like the newer stickers, they that's are. why I questioned it. I if I'm not mistaken, these stickers cost about forty or fifty dollars just to put those on there. They're really expensive. The only thing wrong with it is the hatch is broke. The or I mean the hatch is kinda up, but you can take yeah, it yeah. off and put a new one on. What are you thinking on it? Well, here's what here's what the deal was. We had 125 on each and on, on, on any one of these. Okay. If you buy more than one, I'm definitely gonna I'll definitely do a, a little bit better of a deal. Um, it's the only one I need. I got them. If you want to make me an offer on it, you can. I don't think we'll be that close, unfortunately. That's okay. Yeah, no worries. Let me see what else we got. I have another one. I have another one at the house. Better condition? Mm-hmm. No box though. I'm really no looking box. for the box. No box. I only want I I have a couple in the box. I have the, the deluxe Zeo Zord in the box. I have It's the, the only one I'm missing of the original yeah. ones. I have every one of them from Mighty Morphin all the way to Time Force. I have every Megazord. I, I'm missing the space shuttle train one. Which, super train? Is that the with train? I have super train. That's what I'm. I'm, I'm in, in the box? No, I have nothing in the so box. I'm trying to just. If I buy the thing, then I can't find the box. Oh, Ugh. That's the problem. The problem now is. Well, right now I shouldn't say that. Cause right now, it's still you still got you still got time. You know what I mean? The market's kind of soft right now. But the, oh, I, that it's back is. It's 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 crummy. Yeah. I know. Oh. I mean, if you, like I said, if you want to make me an offer on it, go ahead. I don't want to insult you. I don't think we're that close. Well, what you, what you ain't gonna insult I'm like 40 bucks. Couldn't do 40. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Did you buy those signs today? I did. I saw them over there. Yeah. Did I you had, pay 50 for both? I got all three for 100. Oh, I should have made that deal. I saw that first thing I saw was those signs. Mm. He, he goes, he goes 50 it. bucks each. I was like, Ugh. well, I said to him, if I buy three of them, because I didn't really want Batman. I didn't either. But I figured if I got Batman, you if I didn't want, in. yeah, if I didn't want one, I could probably sell one those are, and get those, some of my money those back. Those are great. Those are great. Yeah, pickups. I think that's from a McDonald's display. Too. I think both of them. Are. Yeah, right. There's three of them. Yeah. Are. There's two different. Uh, what do you got on the Warcraft stuff? I think I had 15 bucks on all that. I have a Diablo over there too. Did you see Diablo? First one? Yeah. I have a high price on that, that just because I, I don't really know what to price these things because it kind of the prices are all over the place. But YouTube, if that's you look on uh, not YouTube, but eBay? What is it going on eBay? Well, eBay they're going for about between 60 to 100 bucks depending on how good it is. I mean, everything's there. It's all complete. Everything's in there. It's just been somebody had played it. The disc is perfect. You want to take it out? The disc is absolutely flawless. I mean, it would, it would it'd be a display piece. No, know? absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I think maybe the Warcraft stuff. You do 10 on this? Yeah, I can do 10. I'll do 10. 
Oh, and now I see the other figures. Do they have all their weapons and everything? This one is complete. They are complete. These are the poseable ones. They are complete. The Green Ranger shield is in there. They're not in the super, super, super great condition. That's why I'm not asking, I'm not asking, you know, $10 a piece-ish for them. Well, Matt, I mean, what I mean is, online, when they're perfectly yeah. complete, they go for more than $10 an hour, oh, or $10 yeah. a, a one. No White Ranger? No White Ranger. There's White Ranger in there. I don't have the shield. I have the shield and the sword at the house. I don't put the shield and the this. sword on the ones that I sell for five bucks, you know what I mean? Yeah. The ones in the bucket there are five bucks. Yep. The, um, the, it's me, now, just let me, just let me tell you. The, the the war crap is complete the other two are not that's okay I mean, they are missing things they're just so they're just, just display pieces you worked with me i appreciate it okay i just want to let no, you know you're good dude i don't want you to think i'm trying to scam you no nope, i no i appreciate i i'm buying it for the box okay no problem. i'm all i'm the box guy i want the boxes if this is something you change your mind on let me know all right i'll think I can, about I it i can definitely do better on that i just it's hard for me it's hard for me to the, the, it's i know it's a steep price but the thing is it's 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 clean it's clean yeah it's really i like clean. it Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Put that back. Um. Huh? Look how cool that is. Started beeping at me yet. It's too much. We got Alvin and the chipmunk sled. Which one's that? The Alvin and the chipmunks. Oh, that's five dollars. It's nice. Very nice. Oh, yeah. How about four dollars? I'll do four dollars. One dollar table. There you go. That's too much. Too much to look at. Excuse me. Okay, I am back from my first flea market, and boy, was that intense. 
but 7.30, being in the parking lot eating breakfast would be early. It was not. As you saw, there were a ton of people already walking around. So I know that was a while. My camera actually died from some of the last things you saw. Some of the very last things I bought you did not see were these original Toy Story in the box. Three Buzz Lightyear's. And a Woody doll. This guy, after negotiating, I also got the uh, Klingon Academy game and Deep Space Nine. He had $20 on the game, $45 on the ornament, $45 on each Buzz Lightyear. And I forgot to take the sticker off. Woody was $12. We did a combined deal. Uh, he threw everything in because the computer game is missing one disc for one fifteen, so I saved about seventy five dollars there. Woody is at around twenty twenty five dollar comp, and I saw four Buzz Lightyear. So I'm missing one in the set. Four of them are, were up for a comp around two hundred dollars, not sold, but a couple of these sold ones are around forty or fifty dollars a piece. So I'll definitely get my money back there. Some other sales you didn't see where I grabbed a couple of Pokemon cards for the collection. Nothing crazy, but the Electrode, the Vile Plume, and the Nidoqueen. Queen. I did $25 for all three. The Electrode itself is about $55. One of the guys who I've sold to before in the past was selling cards. I just grabbed one, not much. He gave me five bucks for it. Plastic case might actually be worth more. So looking up some of the comps. I think uh, I overpaid a little bit on the Mickey Mouse Donald Duck wall racers. It's not in the greatest of condition. He did a combined total, I believe, for that. And the Space Jam toy, I believe, were 50 bucks. Um, Space Jam sells right around 40, 45. And I saw a comp sold for the Walker's better condition for 25. So a little bit under on that one. Uh, my very first deal of the day were these Ninja Turtle cups and bowl. Actually, I think I had one of the bowls and spoons when I was a kid. I can't find any other tags under than that patch. I don't think anyone sewed that patch on. It's a little dirty bag, but any of the smaller ones are around $60 to $80. And I can't find this one anywhere. Maybe clean this up. This might be a $100 bag. The Game Boy, I looked at this right at the start as I walked in. I actually found the clip inside. Oh, there you go, so it broke, it needs a screw. But it also has a light, the strap, the battery charger, and a trade cable that I don't believe anybody realized was in there. He had that marked for 10, I got it for five. I think that was a great deal. A couple other things I did. The PlayStation, uh, not only a racing, but a flight control. That was 10 and the bag was 25. Uh, they did. She did a deal for me for thirty for both. Um, the only one I can see on this flight is two hundred dollars, but it's in much better condition, uh, and it comes with a PlayStation. So this might be fifty or sixty dollars on its own. Chicago Bulls hat paid three dollars for. This is a Mitch and Nash vintage snapback. A little dirty, but this might be in the twenty to thirty dollar range. I can't find its exact color scheme. But other ones are selling in uh, mid 30s, so not bad. Probably should have passed on these Almond and the Chipmunks once I saw the guy. I, I think the camera might have been dead for this one, but it was in the packaging. It's a CVS little sing along thing. Didn't realize until uh, I had already paid and the guy was like packaging it up for me that there's some uh, rip stuff. I only paid three or four dollars. Might just that might just be a garage sale item. Maybe somebody would buy it, even though it is a little damaged. Too bad. Mickey Mouse light. I did test it just now. It didn't work. Maybe it's just the bulb. Hopefully, it's not this old cord. But old Mickey Mouse club. Paid ten dollars for that. I like that. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, Sims Two. Get ready for some cult people to like this one. Those were a dollar a piece. Gonna combine those together for at least twenty or thirty dollars crazy pickup were these Dragon Balls. I actually have sold to Scotty before. He bought my uncle's uh, football, baseball, hockey card collection. 
Uh, I talked to him a little bit again. I'm not sure if it made it into the video, but uh, he is uh, downsizing, uh, now working out of his house and no longer a store, but was looking to maybe do some collabs or get my help maybe making some videos for him, help his uh, eBay channel out. So check out uh, Scotty there at Boston Spot Collectibles. Uh, did pay a dollar a piece for these. There's 41. I thought there was more. I miscounted. Dollar a piece. I, only, I checked one. Only one VHS out of the whole lot looks to be a little broken. Maybe I can fix that. If not, uh, these will go on eBay and hopefully uh, four or five dollars a piece. Do one big lot. Maybe somebody's crazy enough to buy them all. Uh, bag of Mickey toys. This was a dollar. I like these old little plastic Mickey toys. Maybe one random unicorn in there. But uh, a couple old Disney figures. Nothing crazy, just kind of cool. Uh, probably a missed by here, where, which I thought and I believe are G.I. Joe toys, but there's a bunch of other weird turtles, different errors and stuff. Paid $4 for the bag, I believe. Maybe 3 with a deal with I like, combined with the other stuff. But uh, maybe a dollar a piece at the garage sale. Nothing great, just a couple weird G.I. Joe figures. Also on that dollar table was a sealed Next Generation 1990s calendar. Pretty cool. And also the motion picture soundtrack. I believe I did the Simpsons with that bag of G.I. Joes. She had 20 on the Simpson dolls. These are actually from Burger King from 1990. Um... Not great, but I believe I did the dolls and them for 20 and uh, I think I'll get my money back on just the dolls for around 20 or $30. Nothing crazy, nothing great. Did get these, uh, two are complete, Frogger and Cars are complete uh, Game Boy Advance games. Harry Potter is just the box and Dexter's Lab is just the box, but you know me. I like collecting boxes, making games complete. Might might be able to uh, update them. Met a cool guy who I gave my car to. He had some really nice old uh, computer games. I got the Warcraft, Warcraft 3 with the expansion and Mr. Pandaria for Warcraft, World of Warcraft. I like just collecting old computer boxes that I got rid of back in the day. Uh, a questionable buy. One guy had, and I believe my camera was dead for this, had lots of PS4, PS5, and Switch games sealed that he was selling for $10. And a lot of people were flocking to him buying multiple sealed games. Um, I grabbed this one as I was talking to somebody. I mean, I comped it out right as I was standing there. It was $40 to $50 with the collector car and game. Um... Not sure where he got them. Seemed way too many, way too many medium ranged PS4, PS5, and Switch games for $10 a piece. Um, questionable means I'm actually, I don't think I'm going to sell that. I'll just hold on to it. I feel uh, not right selling something I don't believe was uh, actually his to begin with. But uh, let me know down below what you think of that. Should I sell it for 40 bucks? Only paid 10. And the last thing I grabbed as I went out, I did one final loop. There was a box at the stand I had already seen with a uh, Xbox 360, a gold controller, power supply, and a bunch of games here. Nothing crazy. Five to ten dollar medium range games. Uh, we got Saints Rose 3, Fallout 3, Game of the Year, and a Motocross. Um, box wasn't marked. I asked him how much and if it was working. He said 50. I said 40. I asked him again if it was working. He said it was. We uh, did 40. Not a bad buy with the games. Got home without the AV cable. Got home. Turned on the 360. Would not power on. I actually opened up the side, pulled out the hard drive. Wiped it down, blew in it, and actually it did open, which one of the missing games was in there. I do need to go test it to make sure everything else works with some AV cables uh, downstairs, but 
I think I'm going to bring this to my garage sale, and uh, if it, it's working and there's no red ring issues, I'm going to put 100 bucks on it. Try to get some of my money back there. But all in all, I believe I'm right around 320 to 340 for everything you see here on the table. A few things are going into my personal collection. Uh, being my first flea market, I was a little shocked by some of the prices of things. These were obviously some resellers themselves trying to get their money back for items. This was only a one day thing. I was shocked to see how expensive some items were. Some people were willing to make deals. I talked to one of the vendors. It was $75 to set up for the day, one day only. Um, so I believe a lot of prices were high because of that. And when I left at 1030, people still hadn't fully set up. So they were missing a lot of the early buyers. But all in all, a little overwhelming for my first flea market. I definitely will be going back to these and searching for more, but definitely with a little bit tighter of a budget. I don't want to be overspending like this. I was a little too happy to add items to my collection and I actually gave out my card to a few people for actual items that I, I wanted. I could have spent a lot more money and not resold anything myself and just add stuff into my collection. Uh, but that would defeat the purpose now, wouldn't it? Thanks for coming along, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe. I really, really do appreciate the support. And uh, if you saw anything I missed, which I'm sure there was a ton of, or anything I should have grabbed, definitely let me know down in the comments.